Ann Butler is the author of seven books for Pelican, including Weep for the Living, four books in the Plantation Country Cookbook series, including Audubon Plantation Country Cookbook, Bayou Plantation Country Cookbook, Acadian Plantation Country Cookbook, and the upcoming River Road Plantation Country Cookbook, which will be available in fall 2009. Anne is also the editor of the latest version of the Pelican Guide to Plantation Homes of Louisiana and Louisiana Swamp Tours, The Definitive Guide. Okay, uh, Ms. Butler, most of your writing deals with the plantation homes in Louisiana. Can you tell me how your interest developed? Well, actually I kind of lived the life because I live in one of the early plantation homes. I've grown up with that culture. Uh, I see so much of it vanishing and so my interest is really in preserving the heritage and the history of the plantation country in Louisiana. And there's so many wonderful houses, and they're all very different one from the other, with different backgrounds and different people, and of course the culinary history is very different with each one. So it's, it's nice to have a venue to preserve that. Would you say you explore the personality of each home in your uh, plantation country cookbook? See, absolutely. Um, they're so different, the, the people who built the houses and started the plantations. And it's interesting to have a full picture of not only their lives, but their labors, the crops that they grew, uh, the people who lived on the plantation. And um, the, the culinary history ties right in with the family histories and all of the stories. I like the stories. I'm basically a storyteller. Uh, and so I like the little off-the-wall um, oddities about each house and each person and, and each type of cooking as well. And in your cookbooks, uh, you give some recipes that originated generations ago and have since been altered. Have you eaten any of the traditionally prepared meals and how do they taste? Oh, sure, I have and they are wonderful. Uh, where I grew up, for example, they were still cooking in the outside kitchen uh, over a wood stove. So uh, we grew up with this type of cooking. Um, there, some of the recipes are more for a historic interest than, than you know, expecting people to actually cook them in this day and age. But uh, a lot of the plantations, Destrahan and Magnolia Mound, um, Rural Life Museum, they actually have adapted some of the early recipes so that they cook them over the open flames, you know, over the open hearth, but then they also have a more modern version that you can um, cook on a, on a regular stove now. But there, the people in Louisiana have always eaten well, and the old recipes were wonderful uh, and still are today. And also in your plantation books, you include modern day attractions as well. What it, what's the purpose of that? Well, because people need to see the variety of Louisiana. You know, there, there's this history, but not everybody is, is really interested in history. There's wonderful modern attractions as well. Uh, we need to get people to, to learn the history of the state, but also to see its application to modern day uh, life. and. So it's kind of a mixture of things. It gives sort of a cross-section of Louisiana life over the years and over the generations. Thank you Whatever. so much for joining us today. We appreciate your coming in to have a quick little interview with us. Um, and of course, everyone can look up your books, all of your wonderful Plantation Country cookbooks on our website, as well as your new uh, Pelican Guide to Louisiana Plantation Homes and the upcoming um, guidebook for the Louisiana Swamp Tours as well and I think that you've got a new cookbook coming out in the series as well so people can keep their eyes open for that one. Thank you so much. We're here ready. Okay, would you like to introduce yourself? Well I'm Henry Concian from uh, Lafouche Parish. And Henry is a wonderful photographer who has done the photographs for our the new plantation homes of Louisiana, as well as the comprehensive guide to swamp tours, and some of the contemporary photographs in the River Road Country Plantation Cookbook. And he has been, photograph been a photographer uh, part-time all of his life, but now he's really getting into it full-time. Tell a little bit about your photography background, Henry, and what you'd like to photograph. Well, I've taken pictures all of my life, really, but pretty much just kept them to myself. 
until I met you, and then I started getting large numbers published in various uh, books. And uh, right now we have six books in the works, and it's a uh, the reason why you like to photograph Louisiana nature scenes is what? To preserve uh, what we have left, because I can remember as a child, we had a lot more stuff involving the swamps and marshes, and I can see it disappearing now, not only on a yearly basis, but on a monthly basis. And a lot of things that were very familiar to me when I was a child are just gone. And one of my big regrets in life is that I did not photograph those things that are gone, but at that time, you know, I didn't have access to cameras at that time like we do today, but uh, I, w I wish I'd have images of those early days. And what we take for granted as today, we're living in history also, and some of the things that we're seeing every day that are common to us will be gone in another 20 or 30 years. And to preserve it on film is at least a start without preserving the actual animals and plants which are disappearing. And for Pelican to do the books that are preserving these things um, for future generations is such an important contribution to the state uh, and to, um, to all of us. Uh, so we're most appreciative of Pelican's role in, in preserving things.